So now I will join my flower with chains with uh, the sole of the sandal. This uh, sandal is of the left and now I will make from the right sandal for the right foot. And you see that I don't make in the center. This left sandal I join a little in the uh, right side and the uh, right sandal I will join a little in the left in the left part of our sole. First I will join my uh, jar here in the center where is the treble crochet. I will pass the yarn for make the chain. Now I pass, I make one chain and now I will make five chains, cinco cadenetas. Tejemos cinco cadenetas. You can make uh, more long or more short. So you must to see that is in the same place, like in my uh, left sandal, only that in the right, in the left side. Now we make the right sandal. First I pass the yarn uh, in the back, and now I make the hook in the sole, and I make a slip stitch, one slip stitch, and I join the chains with the sole. This is the right of our flower. And now I only will pass the yard and I will cut and I will finish to pass the yard. At the end we must to sew all the yarns with the big needle con la aguja punta roma. You must to have careful uh, that you don't have canots for that is not uh, disturb the foot of the babies. You must to have a lot of careful and always if your baby use sandals you must uh, the baby must to use protection cream for protection of the sun. Now I have here two centimeters and half approximately for that enter the fingers of the babies. You can make short, sure. And my flower is almost four centimeters. Our flower. And now I must to make this part, the side of my flower. Here I let one petal, and in the next petal I make this uh, single crochet I will make. And we compare for that try to make in the same place in the sides for that you can for that this sandal is uniform. You can count or you can compare with another sandal and I make this jar for to know where I must to join these uh chains and after this will be the single crochet. You must to close the sandal in the center. This line is that you must to always uh, your guide of your sandal because it's the center of our sandal. And here I will uh, begin to make the chains for make the single crochet. I will make five single crochet. So I let one petal and in the next petal I pass the hook, I pass the yarn, I make one chain for join the, the yarn and now I will make five chains. You can make short or long this chain, depends of the uh, size of the foot of your baby. Always try to compare with another uh, shoe. Now I pass the hook in the sandal, in the sole, and I make again one slip stitch. And here I make one chain, 
And over all this chain that we made, I will make single crochet. In every stitch or in every chain, in cada cadeneta, we make one single crochet. En cada punto o en cada cadeneta, tejemos un medio punto. Single crochet en español, medio punto, punto medio o punto bajo. We have a lot of names in Spanish for this uh, stitch. This is the five or the fifth uh, single crochet and look. And now, in the first stitch that I enter, I will make the last single crochet. And I enter again in the flower. We can enter in the same stitch. And we make the slip stitch. We pass again, cut the yarn, and ready. You must to make the same in the another side. Always you must to let one petal and catch the next petal. So I compare if it's in the same place. It's almost in the same place. You can count uh, to the, the stitches and you can make in the place that you want. And now again in the other side I will add one petal I close my shoe, my sole in two parts and I look where is the front. I pass one mark for that I know where I must to pass the hook. Now I let this petal and I go in the next petal in the center up of the treble crochet. I pass first the yarn. I make one chain and I make the five single crochet. All the, uh, the two shoes or the two sandals you must make uh, the same stitches. If you make four chains you must make in the another uh, sandal the same stitches. Now I join here and put first the yarn in the back and now I pass the hook in the stitch up of this stitch and I make the single, uh, the slip stitch, el punto deslizado en español. I will repeat. Okay, only one slip stitch. Now one chain, una cadeneta, one chain, and I w in the back I must to make again in every stitch one single crochet, like in the another side. So in every stitch I made one single crochet. And here I enter in the flower again where I begin to make the chains. I make the slip stitch. I pass again the yarn. We cut and we finish to pass all and always push the last stitch and is almost ready over sandal. Now uh, only rest to make the chains for that is the lace for over sandal. Here I have almost 80 or 90, you can make 80 or 90 chains. Depends of the yarn that you use. The yarn and the hook make the size 
of your sandal. But first I will soy the yarns. I will soy the yarn with my big needle. Punta Roma en español. And here is my chains that I join the flower with the soul. I must to try to make not so strong. And you must to have careful, don't let cannot or something that disturb to your baby. Stitch by stitch I start to pass in these chains for that my sandal is secure. The sandal is quick to make. Only we must to have a lot of patience for soy all the yarns. I will go to the flower with the yarn with the needle for that my thread is secure. Uh, don't push so much your yarn. And here in the center I start to pass my needle and I try to lose here in the center of my flower for that is total secure. When it's short you can pass first your needle and after this you pass the yarn in the needle and you pass again. And here you can, when it's secure, you can cut. So now we sew the yarn of our sole. And you must to make the same in the another, uh, with the another yarns, you must to try to sew the same. I will make some yarns and I will back for show you how we make the uh, chains for finish our sandal. Now I almost uh, sew all the yarns in my sandal, but I want to show you these yarns of the beginning for that you see how I sew or sew these yarns. Now I pass the yarn in the thread without pushing over yarn. And here in the reverse I start to lose my my yarn. I pass, I try the, to pass the, the needle only in the center of the stitches and don't go in the uh, front of my sandal. When you see that your yarn is secured, you can cut. Now I will show you two with this lila yarn. Here in the reverse, I try to pass between the stitches. And I try to go to the center of my soul. Sol suela en español. Suela. Shu zapato. Sandal 
sandalia en español. Puntos stitches. So, uh, it's better to let a little yarn always when you cut because you must to make secure your thread. If you cut so short your yarn, you don't have uh, the chance, the chains to sew good your sandal. And when it's secure, I cut. Now we have almost ready our sandal. So I will continue and I will be back for make the chain of our uh, sandal. Ciao. Okay, now I will use my yarn green when I finish to sew all. Here in this single crochet where I made in the sides, in the third, because I made five, in the third that is the center, I pass the yarn, I make, I make one chain always for join the yarn with my thread, and here I start to make the chains that I prefer. You can make the chain that you prefer, the long that you want. Here I will make 80 chains. Here I will pass again the yarn, I will cut and I will finish to pass and we close over 80 chains. If I have 80 chains in one side, in the another side, I must to have again 80 chains. So I pass again the hook in the third single crochet that is the center because I make uh, five, two in the left, two in the right and one in the center and here I begin to make the 80 chains. I finish to pass, I pass again the yarn and we close over chains. And you know, the size of your lace you can, can be the, the long that you prefer. And now only you must to pass, I pass one bit, one pearl length, and I made here I cannot, I only, it's only super easy to make this. And now I will sew the pearl length, the pearl, in my flower. I will use a teeny needle and the normal yarn, uh, yeah, the normal yarn. Always you must to try that your needle enter in the pearl of beads because uh, sometimes the, uh, the hole is not so big. So first I join the yarn. In the flower, I can do it for the reverse or for the front. I pass before I pass the bead, the pearl, for that is total secure over pearl. And now I pass in the center and I pass the pearl, perla in español, and again I try to join this yarn to the thread, to the flower. You can do it from the reverse and front. You can use a green jar, uh, yarn too for soy or a pearl. Depends of the color that you use. And always try that your yarn uh, don't appear in our thread. You can go again in the front and I can pass again into the perlen, perla. I made this for make super secure our work. 
is a little longer to make to soy all but is more secure for that your sandal uh, have more time for that you can the baby can use and now I, when my yarn is super secure I cut and we finish our beautiful sandal this size is for babies into 12 and 18 monads or months, meses in Espanol. But you can make the size that you prefer. In internet you can find the uh, size for the baby shoes. Okay, thank you for all and we see you in my next tutorial. Muchas gracias. Chao, chao.